I, uh, I can't write fast enough. That's what I discovered. Um, I, I want to say to start with, with Mark, that um, when I went to university, DIRT was being formed. And in teaching phys ed, they talked back then about guided discovery. And I haven't heard anybody use that term in many years. But it's one, uh, there's a lot of terminology going around in hockey today. And it's a FIO, figure it out. And if you can help kids to be able to figure it out, they become better hockey players, better thinkers, better citizens. So in hearing that, Mark, it uh, brought a little bit of memory back to me. Um, one of the things sitting here that's, that's really, you know, it's a dilemma almost in my mind because we're, we're talking about trying to make the game good for kids and for parents. And I often question, why are we doing that? Like, why has the game sort of gone the way that it has? Listening to John talk, it's not the only sport uh, right now that that is happening in. It's more than just hockey. If you're a reader and have read the book Selling the Dream, it really gives you an insight into what's going on with hockey in North America and how much of an issue it is with people. In the old days, uh, when my parents grew up, in order to keep up with the Joneses, uh, what they would end up doing is putting a new fence up or buying a new car or whatever. Well, today, keeping up with the Joneses means having your kids be in more camps, more clubs, a better team than your neighbors. So they're living their life vicariously. And uh, I guess that's sort of where I, I want to start at. Uh, my job with Hockey Alberta is very interesting in working with tons of different coaches who have unbelievable skill and knowledge. And uh, a year ago, we were sitting in Calgary, and Steve Hamilton, our coach, head coach for Team Pacific, sat with the kids, and this was beginning of July. And the first words that came out of his mouth was, accomplish the imagined. And he went on to explain it, that if you can't dream it, it's not going to happen. So he wanted all the players, and there was 46 in the room, to think about what they would say, who they would phone, who they would talk to, what they would think about when we won the gold medal uh, at the World Under-17s this past year. And it was the first time I'd ever seen it go that way. It's using mental imagery in a different way, and it was powerful. We played the Americans in the final and lost. But I hear Steve as he went through with the Oil Kings this year talking on the radio all the time and his words kept resonating back about you know the same sort of thing you need to imagine you need to be able to dream and then go out and get it and the picture that we need to paint here uh, when it comes to uh, what we're here for this weekend is actually that is painting that picture for the people that are in your organizations and associations what does it look like what is that picture you need to start with the end in mind. So as the, these accomplished people up here have all said in different ways, there are ways to be able to do it. But it's almost like being Machiavellian where you need to have the end result there that you want to see, and then you need to have a way to be able to steer people to get there. You're the gatekeepers. You're the ones in this province that are really going to help Hockey Alberta and Hockey Canada steer the coaches and, more importantly, the parents to be able to make better decisions. Coaches are under the gun because, as, as has been said, parents want games. They want lots of games. Bore practices are boring to watch. They want their kids to win. They want a scholarship yesterday, not tomorrow. But I think we're the ones at the end of the day that have that power, that leadership capacity and the ability because of what we do in our local minor hockeys to really give back to them and educate them about what's important. And at the end of it all, I think it's about a process that ends up needing to happen. And process means it's not the outcome at the end of the day that's important, but it's sort of how you get there and all the little pieces that are put into place. I know that the Hockey Alberta staff this weekend has really done a lot of work to try and put together a whole bunch of different things if you're here on the coach development side to help you to give you lots of ideas and insight that maybe you can take back uh, and end up making your associations, your coaches, and at the end of the day, your, your kid's stronger. I, I said when I got hired a number of years ago that I'd be selfish and coaches were first, but really they're not, it's the kids. But Michael Jordan said at best he could practice shooting eight hours a day, and if he didn't practice to shoot correctly, he'd never get any better. Well, you get better because you have good coaches who know what they're doing, and they impart their skills and abilities to the kids. So enjoy your weekend. Thank you for being here.